Diamonds they pop like Tigger. The mask on me niggas I'm digger. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Meso Caleb and welcome back to another video on my channel. If you guys haven't tuned in to the merch, the merch has already dropped July 21st. Go cop that merch, it's the first link in the description. But without further ado, we're gonna get straight into this video today. I'm gonna start vlogging every single day, doing reactions, pranks, challenges, my vlogs. Everything is gonna be very interesting, entertaining, and you guys can get a feel of what I do on the behind the scenes of my life. So I'm gonna get straight into what I did yesterday yesterday i went to the dmv and i basically messed up so i was supposed to get my license and i was supposed to take my drive test but i didn't now if some of y'all don't know me my birthday is november 29th and i turned 20 this year 20 and i ain't got my license yeah i know it's crazy but i've already told this story plenty of times so for those who don't know i didn't need a car didn't need a license so i didn't ever like worry about it but now i'm in the mood to like start being on my own start branching out start doing things on my own and i'm starting to make bigger moves so with that being said i made the move to decide to get my license now I went to the DMV, I paid $33 to take all this information and get all this stuff renewed. So I got my permit renewed so I can legally drive with someone that's 21 that has a license. Although, I did schedule my drive test for next Thursday on the August the 6th, I believe. August the 6th. I'm gonna be taking my drive test to actually get my license. Now, I did wait 30 days in advance to get this, so we gotta figure out what we're gonna do. And finally, we're here with the final chapter. This is today's video, so I've been car shopping for a long time, and today I found a car. I'm not gonna tell y'all exactly what it is, but basically, I found a guy at a lot selling a car, I went check it out. Test, actually, I'm test driving it today. I'm not gonna show y'all what the car is, so don't even ask. But, I'm gonna be taking it to a, my, one of my mechanics at the shop, and they're gonna do a full car diagnostic, inside, outside, on top, under, whatever, around, everything. They're gonna check everything dealing with the car, and they're gonna give me a full car diagnostic to tell me if it's ready to go. So after I do this car diagnostic, I'm going to be purchasing the vehicle, and then we gotta take care of some insurance after I get my license, because I cannot get the car in my name, and not in my name, but I cannot put insurance on the car unless I have my license. So I'm gonna buy the car, leave it here, and then we're gonna make that move. Stay tuned for the rest of this video, and let's get it, get it, go. <sighs> Y'all like my room still? <laughs> Let's go. All right, guys, so look, I'm with Misha Fly, and you know that we all right, yes, sir. But look, so basically, I went to the car lot, and I test drove the car, took it to a mechanic, did all this good stuff, and then we had some issues. So the guy listed this car for $5,000. Now, the car is not worth $5,000, so I told, I made a counter offer, and I said, I'll give you $3,500 for it. And we did ask if the price was negotiable before. Negotiable. <laughs> the price was negotiable, and, oh, excuse me, I just ate. I asked him if the price is negotiable. He said, yeah, the price is negotiable, man. You already know what it is. So, and then let me let me fast forward to what happened. So, I told him I was going to take it to um, a mechanic. And I was going to take it to Christian, uh, Christian Brothers Automotive. And what they do is they do a full car diagnostic, like I said before. And it takes like one or two hours. Now, he told me that I didn't tell him that I had to get the car inspected. He thought I was going to bring a mechanic to his shop which is capped because I told him that I was gonna bring it. So now he started trying to finesse me. So talking about some, oh, I need the car in 30 minutes, 30 minutes. I'm like, nigga, how the fuck am I supposed to bring the car in 30 minutes if I need to get it inspected fully? And I'm like, he was like, I don't like uh, getting my cars uh, off the lot. I don't like when my cars are missing because I don't want anything to happen to him. I was like, dude, I have the car, you have my license. Well, my mom's license, not mine, because y'all know, know that story, but anyways, he knew the situation and yet he still was tripping so he basically just started like spazzing out talking about some uh you were gone for three hours mind you i got there at like 12 and came back at like 1 1 30. and then like the whole thing because like the place was 20 minutes from him so think about it we drive 20 minutes there we're there for 20 minutes it's 40 minutes then we drive back after he started tripping that's what an hour that's an hour and 10 minutes right and then he told myself, you were gone for three hours. You were gone for, and I was like, you can even bring up the receipt. Of where That's what I'm saying. Like, 
bro, yeah, that's what I'm saying. We got we got receipts on messages. I'm like, dude, if I was gone for three hours, for real, for real, it would have been three hours. Like, he was just tripping. And I was just like, all right, you know what? So after I told him that, oh, let me tell y'all what was wrong with the car. I didn't even tell y'all that. So basically, all the issues that was wrong with the car, they had uh, the gauges on the, um, on the dash weren't working so like you couldn't see how much gas you had you couldn't see where the battery was and you couldn't see the engine like the oil pressure you could not see the oil pressure so the only thing that was working was your engine which is the coolant that you like to make sure that, that shit not overheating so that was the only thing that was wrong with the car other than some cosmetic issues and then like some little stuff here and there but basically he was trying to tell me that oh yeah it's not like it's gonna cost you fifteen hundred dollars to fix that and i was like it's not in pristine condition. First of all, this car is not up to date. The car is not in the most pristine condition. So why would I pay you five grand for a car when it's not in the best condition? You feel me? So to sum it up, basically me and Misha are headed to another guy. We're gonna see if he's gonna allow us to check out the car and maybe perhaps test drive it. I don't know, we'll see. But basically, um, let's just hope that the, everything goes right because I did do a VIN check and most guys that whenever I'm buying cars, I don't tell them I'm doing a VIN check. So, yeah, let's see if everything goes right. I know I'm close as hell to the camera, so let me back up so y'all can see me because I know y'all don't like that. Basically, I need to make sure I get a vehicle that is working, that has little to no issues. Because, and the reason why I say little to no is because if the car does have an issue, it has to be within a $200 range for me to fix. And it has to not give me future problems. Because if I pay $500 to $1,000 to fix a problem on a whip, I might as well buy a brand new one, you feel me? We're gonna find another guy. I found a newer year car, just in the same model. Less mileage, less price, and less hope for a miracle. So, um, if you made it this far, uh, stay tuned. This is a nice little car vlog because I'm gonna bring a lot of car videos with y'all. Y'all gonna see some good stuff. And let's just hope for the best, all right? Let's get it. What's good, guys? I'm back, and I just left Fitness Connection, and I'm here with Misha Fly and my brother, B. Low Key, a.k.a. Demon Official. Road to 190, here we go. Road to 190, that's what it is. Trying to get down to 190 pounds. I'm yes, sir. I'm trying to get down to, like, 150. 150? Yeah, You're gonna be skinny then. Do you not understand what 150 looks like on your size? You no. look tiny. 150 is not bad. I'm used to thick old Misha. I need some thicky. You get too skinny. Mm -mm. Lily, Lily, Lily weighs 160. And look at the size that she still is. My, I say 170. That's it. Basically, we went to the gym. I picked up some protein shakes, picked up some masks and some gloves to work out in. We did uh, pretty much like an arm slash chest day. And for the most part, it was really great. Um, I can tell you right now, we all finna get really snatched this summer and headed into fall. So around fall season, y'all gonna see Big Mezzo and I'm a little Mezzo. So we did really good today. Um, I wanna say that we did, today's workout, we did 20 minutes on the cycling machine on the, uh, what was the first Almost one? 25, like almost 30-ish. Yeah, I did like 22 minutes. I but did like, like it was roughly, I'm gonna just say roughly, uh, give or take 20 minutes. So then after the 20 minutes, then we went to do some uh, 5, 6, 10 on 50 pounds of like some chest lifts. And then after we did that, we did, what was it? Lap lifts? What is that called? Lap pulls. Lap pulls. So we did lap pulls and then we did uh, 5 sets of 20. So we killed that. And then um, I think that was it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we did pretty good. It was, it's a start. So I feel like if we do this for maybe one, two weeks, just to build a momentum and a rhythm, that it's easy to progress. So we can once we start knocking down this workout and not breaking a sweat, then that's how you know you need to increase the weight, increase the amount, like the quantity of the sets, and then we can keep going. But yeah, so today was great. I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. I'm finna go to Walmart and get something to eat. And then, uh, yeah. Black leather glove, no secret. Ah, no copyright, but look. We're at Panera Bread getting some food. We're gonna eat healthy. So I'm gonna show y'all my meal whenever it arrives. But for the most part, uh, Misha and Braylon are getting a nice little healthy snack to eat after a nice workout. I did say in the last clip that I purchased uh, what did I purchase? I purchased um, protein shakes. So I pr 
bought protein so I can uh, bulk up. So it's gonna be twice or three times a day, preferably twice a day because I'm gonna be eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner. After we eat from here, we're gonna go head over to Walmart, get some grocery, and I'm going to be cooking and eating very healthy. So these daily vlogs are gonna be very lit. I'm gonna show you my cooking skills, my breakfast skills, and I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I can do. So it's your boy Maxwell Caleb, and let's get it. All right, guys, thank you guys for tuning in. I'm sorry I didn't get the food. I had too much. I was too, too hungry. So make sure if this is your first time watching any of my videos, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, subscribe and it's your boy, Meso Kalo. Stay tuned for more daily vlogs. I'm going to get super lit. And yeah, I feel like we, we out. out. Let's get it.